East Coast haul, grab your visas and MasterCards because you are going to want to do some major stationary shopping after this. Uh, but as you all know, I was in the East Coast of Canada last week and I did some awesome stationary shopping over there and I thought I would show you everything that I purchased. So first up, we have Paper Plus Cloth, which is a Toronto based store and my online friend Rowena actually runs that store and she started out as an Etsy store and now she opened up a brick and mortar store back in 2017. So. I couldn't be any more proud of her and hi Rowena if you're watching this but I basically bought these two sets of um, st not stickers uh, post-its um, that I used to purchase back in Korea so I was running low on them and I was surprised to see them there um, but they're from the brand Paperways I believe um, next up I bought these washi tapes the first one is a three washi tape set from Classy, and the second one is from La Dolce Vita uh, but the La Dolce Vita washi tape is actually very special to me because I have never seen these sold in person. So I know that um, La Dolce Vita has a pretty big following on Instagram. A lot of people use um, these products and these iconic, um, I guess, paintings or portraits of these girls has been pretty popular in a lot of people's journal spreads. I have never gotten my hands on them and I don't know why I never purchased them um, on an Etsy store or on Etsy before but um, I'm glad that I finally have this um, stationary brand in my stationary collection and I thought this washi tape was a good introductory um, I guess thing to add to my collection because it's kind of like a sticker washi tape I don't know how to describe it because um, they're kind of like mini stickers because a lot of people cut out the um, the different still lifes or the different portraits of the girls instead of using it as like a full-on washi tape where they would line like a line like the edge of the page if that makes any sense um and i also bought this um pack of three uh washi tapes and i really like these because they're thin and i can use it in my bullet journal next i bought a, a really big not a really big um i bought a whole bunch of pencil um it is like 3 a.m in the morning um, I am a little bit delusional, but I still wanted to record this voiceover, but um, I bought a whole bunch of pens from uh, Paper Plus Cloth because they had a really good selection and I am using up or I am swatching gosh Joe I am swatching um, This Pentel Fooded Touch pen and I actually have one of these because I won it as I don't know I think I want it as a prize or I was given it or gifted it from a friend I can't remember but I have this in the black colorway and then I purchased it in this like camel um ochre color because I really like warm tones and as you all know I really like beige and orange and brown um so I purchased the Pentel um Pentel Food to Touch pen so I can use it in my bullet journal and then I bought this brown Food to Touch pen or brown Fudinoski pen from Tombow and this is my go-to pen in the black colorway um, in my bullet journal because it is really thin and you can do some really small brush lettering because a lot of um, brush uh, pens actually have really large nibs so this is my favorite one and I was really surprised because I've never seen other colors of the Tombow Fudinoski pens um, in different ink colors and I was especially happy because this is in the blue uh, tube pen what does that mean the blue what does no okay this is the hard tip pen and that's denoted by the blue barrel of the pen there you go Sorry, I can't articulate myself, um, but uh, this colorway is a little bit darker than the Pentel Food to Touch pen. And I like it because I can use both in my bullet journal. And then next up, this is probably the one thing that I have been on the hunt for for the longest time. It is the Zebra Mildliner brush pens. And these are amazing. I don't know why there's a lot of negative reviews on this online, but I really like these. Um, the nib is very comparable or the tip of the brush pen is very comparable to the Tombow brush pens. And I love the Tombow brush pens, but I really like the colors that um, Zebra the zebra mod liners come in um, as you can see the nib or the tip is way wider than uh, the ones that come in the pentel food to touch or tombow food pen 
um, but that's all right I will have to use this in my a5 um, bullet journal or larger larger journals because um, as you can see uh, I am not pressing that hard and uh, it's still hard to get a thick line that's consistent with this pen um, that can be smaller than that as you can see I, I don't know if i'm making sense guys i'm sorry i apologize um but i really like this pen um and yeah my only criticism is that i wish it came in a smaller um tip or nib um but that's all right you can always just use the regular old mild liners and do some faux calligraphy um, but I bought the brown pen. I brought the, I guess, like warm toned yellow. And then I bought this orangey, peachy, rosy uh, color because I've been using this a lot in my bullet journal. And I feel like I've been saying that so many times, but it's true because um, I really like the colors that this comes in. Um, the brown is reading more like dusty rose on screen but um in person it is uh, a true brown um but i think that the positives um or the the good thing about this pen is that it's pretty juicy so um you don't really have trouble getting the ink to flow unlike other brush pens and i just need to be extra careful with these because uh, like most brush pens these come with a felt tip and with a felt tip pen, you uh, know that it will kind of degrade over time, especially if you're pressing really hard. Um, so my Tombow pens have actually lasted me for maybe four years already, um, but I take care, take good care of them, and that's why they have lasted so long. Um, in the swatches, um, you can see that they are double, double ended, just like the mild liners and the kind of bullet tip the this the finer bullet tip is actually really fine um and i'm really happy with that because you can use it in many different applications in your journal in your planner in your bullet journal and whatnot but um i'm really happy with these um pen purchases or marker purchases Next up, I wanted to show you this little gift and souvenir my friend Riza gave me from her travels in Rome um, and Italy. Um, she got me this awesome notebook from Venice and it was actually made in Italy. The paper is super soft and it's amazing. I really like it. So thank you, Riza, if you're watching this. Uh, next up, we have this pencil board from The Papery, which is an Ottawa-based store. I have been wanting this pencil board for a while, but it sold out um, in early 2000. 19 and i am still hunting down the passport version of this pencil board because i collect them um, next up i have these postcards that i wanted to show you the first two are from uh, paper roll or pepper roll um, it's from this montreal based um, brand and i went to this store called oh, is it visi visi out um, in montreal i forget the store but um they were they had this little pop-up exhibition with all the artists that designed for um paper roll or paper roll paper roll whatever it's called um i can't french people um no i you mean i mean i cannot speak french people there you go. i can't french people sorry that doesn't make any sense um but uh i also picked up this uh postcard set from niagara falls i had the intention of sending more postcards out to friends um but i didn't so these will um be in my collection of postcards um that i have yet to use um next up is wonder pens which is a toronto based store and i was really looking forward to this store because i look over um the wonder pens online shop like once a week at least um but they had these complimentary postcards and um they're beautiful i love them there's a how to fill a um, cartridge converter fountain pen and a piston fill pen and a few postcards that have um their store front and 
the store interior saw on them. I also bought these two sets of glassine or vellum envelopes and oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Um, I, I can't find a place to buy these um, in Vancouver um, like in person. I know they sell them online, but I really like supporting shops like um, local shops. So I was happy that Wonder Pens had them. And then I finally found these um, dot stickers that Classic-y makes. Um, these are amazing because they're just pretty much circle stickers and you can use them in any journal spread or you can even use them in your bullet journal to, no to denote um, like a special event or whatnot. And I don't know, Classic-y just makes good stationery. It's my favorite stationery brand um, in terms of like journaling with. Um, I wish they had like a more like more colors that they use but i think that's i guess that's their brand they really like um monochromatic things or like lightly colored things um but i also bought these uh letter press paper pads and i love these i have the onion skin paper version of these but this comes with this really fun like art deco like border and this one comes with like a floor de lis um or like flourishes or i don't even know what they're called but they're really pretty um and they're all letterpress um i love all things letterpress and it's hard to find letterpress things in vancouver um i also got this complimentary pin because the person who was helping me out there was so nice because i basically spent like two hours in there and i bought a, a few inks i actually purchased the diamine um firefly sample and the um what other samples is oh um emerald of shavor and then the diamine um ink bottle is actually uh, i think it's called the honey or oh, i'm forgetting what it's called but i'll link it in the description bar and i'll splotch those in a future video because i didn't have a cotton swab to help me swatch those i also bought these two um double-ended pens or pencils that a lot of people seem to use online and i've been hunting these down but no luck um, in terms of local stores here in vancouver but i really like this because these are the two colors that i like to sketch with so this is the mitsubishi pencil um, I'm writing with right now and I bought another one. It's the same Mitsubishi brand I don't really know the difference between the two but um, the one that I'm writing with has a uh, Vermilion on one end which is like that warm toned red which has like an orangey like undertone and then this uh, Prussian blue and I think it looks amazing. I really like using red and blue together. It has that very like 3d glasses vibe to it or i guess patriotic if you're american um, but i like that color combo and i will be using it in my sketchbook and journals in the future this is what we have been waiting for oh my goodness so um i purchased this superior labor leather pouch and i cannot stop fanboying over this every time i see it on my desk i'm, I'm I don't know. I'm just so... See, I'm speechless. I can't even say anything. Um, if you can't tell how excited I am over this voiceover, I don't even know anymore. Um, but I have been wanting a superior labor like item for so long. If you don't know about um, superior labor, it's actually a Japanese leather goods and I guess like apparel and bag company. So they specialize in different like bags and accessories for like your daily life um they use leather and they like to use heavy duty um canvas but i purchased this full leather um, leather pouch um, in the natural colorway so as you can see um it is replacing my current um i guess pencil case this is from a street i don't want to is it a streetwear brand or like a luxury streetwear brand called um porter or yoshi yoshiba porter yoshi oh man i'll link it in the description bar but it's called um porter um and i really have loved that pencil case but I, it is i don't know it just doesn't really match my midori um and i really wanted a leather pencil case for the longest time and i was struggling between the idea of using a leather pen roll from superior labor and i still still do want to purchase that but 
I thought for convenience sake I wanted something with a zipper. So I settled on this Superior Labor um, leather pouch that I will be using as my pencil case. Um, so it's going to be in my everyday carry and it is so smooth. Um, so this leather is not dyed with anything. I'm sure it's treated with something, but it is the natural colorway because it'll age and change color um, with the natural oils in your hands and and I don't know like the environment in general so if you ex expose it to sunlight and the natural oils on your hands it'll change color just like my eternal leather goods um, traveler's notebook I also have this 1.61 soft goods natural leather pouch um, that I purchased from bomb Kuchin and um, it is also in the natural leather colorway and the thing is if you are sensitive about having stationary and your pencil case looking perfect i think the natural colorway isn't for you because it'll get dinged up and it'll get stained even if you get like slight uh, moisture on it like from i don't know water or what else whatnot um it'll it'll stain it so um i do not recommend it if you are really like protective over your pens but if you want to see not your pens over your um, leather goods but if you want to see it age and change with you just like i don't know like let <laughs> i'm just rambling i'm so happy um but if you want to see it like change and morph um just like other leather goods um you'll like the natural leather because it is kind of that process but intensified because it is not treated with any dyes oh, okay i should take a deep breath because i have been short of breath because of my excitement over all of this stationery um i haven't really treated myself to this much stationery items and art supplies in a really long time and i did some major damage my my bank account is crying i'm crying um but I think it's worth it because these are all things that I genuinely love. And I actually didn't go that crazy. If you watch my Tokyo haul, like from two or three years ago, or maybe my Taiwan haul, like, ooh, I bought like 12 washi tapes um, or even more. Um, but I am very excited with all my purchases and these are going to be heavily used. I used a lot of these already in my um, personal journaling sessions and I'm really happy with um with all the things that i purchased um so if you are as excited about me um and my stationary haul uh leave a like and comment um but otherwise um this is it folks um stay tuned for uh a, an upcoming video um regarding my travel journal and my east coast travel journal which will be up on the channel soon thank you so much for watching and i hope i didn't freak you out with all the rambling and fanboying but um i can't contain my my excitement um but that's it folks i will see you all next time have a great rest of the day bye